Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vought RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. A lot of new things coming in now, like 2022 models, and in this case, an STX. This is a J-Flight STX model, the first one we've gotten in. Kind of excited to show some neat things about this. This guy falls somewhere in between a J-Feather Micro and an SLX-7. It's somewhere in their middle there, and I'll point out some features that you might find only in a J-Feather Micro, and you won't find in an SLX-7. So let's get started. Immediately, you'll notice in the front here, we have a larger propane bottle. So with this STX, which stands for I have no idea, but it's an STX X Extreme Ooh, off road. All right, so generally speaking, this is a little more off road capable, and I'll show you why. Larger propane bottle, worth 30 pounds instead of 20 pounds, so you have more capacity for cooking, keeping the water heater going, and in this case, the refrigerator going off grid. Notice we have an electric tongue jack, which doesn't normally show up in an SLX 7. Power electric tongue jack, so this makes leveling and hooking and unhooking tasks super easy. While I'm thinking about tank capacities, the fresh water capacity on this unit is 30 gallons. It used to be somewhere in the 20s, or it is somewhere on the 20s on typical SLX models, but the STX has an extra big fresh water tank. 30 gallons. So again, if you're off grid for a while, don't have hookups, you got that much more fresh water capacity. Coming around on this side, notice that we have in STX, we have fiberglass sidewall. And this is what Jayco's calling polar white. This is a 2022 edition polar white exterior. We're prepped for side cameras, the Furion side cameras. If you want to add side cameras, it's prepped for that. It's also prepped for a rear camera. Now, if you've watched my videos, you're familiar with some of these things, but I'll point them out quickly. In this case, we have four point stabilizing jacks. So there's four, one in each corner. Three quarter inch driver with a cordless drill, zip this down. After you get it leveled and everything set up, zip this down and it'll keep your uh, coach from moving around. Four, one on each corner. Up here we have our freshwater tank. So again, we have 30 gallon capacity here instead of 20 some gallons in a typical SLX-7. Um, here's another thing you're gonna notice right off the bat that you don't see in an SLX-7. This unit is lifted. So not only do we have more clearance here to here, there's more clearance between the axle all the way down to the ground by several inches. So if you're taking this off grid, some uh, borderline four wheel drive roads, there's more clearance underneath. This is also something that you only see in the micros. We have a steel wheel well here, which protects anything from tossing up on the side of your unit and scratching it and so on. Why is that there? We have a wider stance. This is eight feet wide stance from here to the outside of the other wheel instead of seven foot on a typical SLX-7. Now the unit's only seven feet wide, but we have a wider axle stance, so it's more stable. Obviously we have off-road Wrangler tires. These are Goodyear tires, but these are off-road tires and nice alloy wheels. These are all STX upgrades that you don't see in an SLX-7, okay? Really neat stuff. Um, I kind of like the idea of taking these guys a little bit in off-road situations and that makes it a lot more off-road capable without paying the price of a J-Feather Micro. Now there's some neat things about a Feather Micro that have uh, uh, make it a real attractive option for going off-grid, but this is somewhere in between an SLX-7 and a J Feather Micro for those reasons. All those upgrades are outside. None of the, there's nothing different on the inside so far as I can tell on this STX from a typical SLX-7. All the upgrades are on the outside. Again, as always, we have a full-size spare tire with a cover here. Jayco always gives you a full-size spare. Right up there, we were prepped for a rear camera. So if you wanna add a camera, it's plug and play. If you can operate a pair of pliers and a screwdriver, you can pop it in yourself or we'll be happy to install it if you want to have a rear camera. 
Now we've made the full loop, and before we go inside, I'll point out we do have electrical uh, access out here. So if you want to have a table and have a coffee maker or something out here, you do have an electrical outlet here. Nice sized awning. This is a 2022 upgrade on all Jayco units. They've gone from putting the speakers in the end of the awning arms to mounting them in the sidewall of the unit itself. Uh, these speakers are better speakers, frankly. So it was a novel idea and kind of, kind of neat to have the speakers in the end of the awning arms in 2021. Uh, and they were very okay speakers. Uh, these are better speakers and they're better than the outside wall. I like that. So let's go inside and have a look. Um, anything else to point out here? Of course, they're Goodyear tires. Goodyear tires with a six-year warranty. That's true with all Jayco products, not just the STX for extreme, extreme off-road capability, right? Let's go inside and have a look. Now we're inside the STX 195, and on this floor plan in particular, just like its cousin that's not an STX, Everything inside here is going to look pretty much consistent with the non-STX version. We have a north-south bed orientation. Why do I love a north-south bed? Because I can access it from this side or that side. I don't have to disturb my partner in the middle of the night. It also makes making the bed a lot more easy than an east-west orientation. Um, as I often talk about, there's always a trade-off with floor plans with every RV. When you move the bed north-south on a small unit like this, it gets a little bit longer. Not a lot, we're only 21 feet long here. If we move the bed in the east-west configuration, this becomes shorter and a little bit lighter. You'll notice we have nice nightstand area on either side with outlets also. So, you might say this is CPAP prepped. Room to put a CPAP machine, plug it in, obviously charge your cell phone and whatnot. Nice storage over the top here. Um, I like the idea of putting baskets up here with clothes and linens and so on, and there's a lip here to keep stuff from sliding out. But I like baskets up here. And then we have room to hang shirts on this side and shelves on the other. Now space is at a premium in any 20-foot camper, and there's, this is no exception. So we don't have tons of kitchen cabinetry. We don't have tons of closet storage. I know some of you commented on lack of storage on a previous video on a 195. Keep in mind, we're in a 20-foot footprint here. The goal is to keep this lightweight. The goal is to keep you from sleeping on the ground in a tent, but have the creature comforts at a price point and a weight rating that you can pull with a pretty small vehicle, big SUV or any half-ton truck on planet Earth will pull this. Now, this converts into a bed as well, cute little dinette. We can drop this table down and the cushions, uh, this becomes the bed base and we have another sleeping position. So three folks can sleep in here, certainly comfortably. Decent amount of, of uh, counter space up here. We have a single basin sink with a gooseneck faucet up the top. Um, some modest cabinetry up here, so you have some space here and also some open storage here for supplies. And then below the sink, we have a good amount of storage under here, too. Now, one thing I love, and this is a 2022 change to all the SLX-7s, is we've gone from a three-burner cooktop to a two-burner cooktop that we have right here. What's the trade-off? I have two burners, but now I have a refrigerator that's a bona fide refrigerator instead of a dorm size refrigerator like we used to have in the SLX's, SLX7's. I don't know about you, but it's rare that I'm ever using three burners at the same time. So personally, I don't miss the third burner. So we've now got a much narrower cooktop here with this nice backlit switch. But the trade-off is I've got a decent sized refrigerator. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. This is a gas electric refrigerator. Pretty decent sized refrigerator for a small unit like this. It's a, uh, to me, it's a good trade out. Smaller cooktop, larger refrigerator. This is gas electric, so when you're off grid, you can be running on propane. If you do have electrical service, it'll switch to electric if you have it set to automatic. 
So much more usable refrigerator space, I think, than previous. Now here's something that you also don't often get in a 20-foot footprint like this, is an actual closet, a bona fide closet. Lots of hanging space right there, uh, a little platform there, and a perfect place to toss shoes under there, maybe your backpack, your day pack, um, camping gear, keep it separate from the hanging clothes up there. This is fantastic. I, I just don't know of another unit that's this small that has that much closet, actual closet space. Now open up the door to our nice little bathroom here. We have a mirror and then a skylight up above and a tub shower combo. So if you have little kids, it might be nice to have access to this uh, bathtub area. I'm six feet tall, so just to give you an idea of the space, I've got plenty of headroom here. Um, again, we're talking a small unit here. It's either this or I'm taking a walk, you know, at midnight to go take a shower at the wherever, you know, bathhouse. So it's nice and convenient. I've got room to take a shower in here and be comfortable and I'm not sleeping on the ground tonight. Um, little commode here. A lot of people want to know how much room is in here, so I will sit down. Right here's the door. I've got room to sit down. Yes, we have one of these, the all-important toilet paper holder. Decent. So, again, lightweight unit, about 3,500 pounds, 21 feet long. We're in the STX. You may say, I don't see anything different on the inside. You're right. There's real, I, I've yet to spot anything that's different on the inside of this unit from the outside for the STX compared to the SLX7. If you'd like to come take a look at this in person, I'd love to show it to you. My name's Mike at Vod RV. My email address is below. Click on that email address or give me a call at the phone number listed below. Happy to go over the uh, neat features on this unit as well as any of the other units we have. We've got 2022s coming in right now. Give me a call, love to chat with you. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.